Hi everyone, my name is Alper Pertz from the DC Orchestration Tech Team in Brussels. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reimage an Exit Dashboard node. What is the reimaging process? Reimaging erases the node and reinstalls an Exit Dashboard software stack. When is it necessary or beneficial to reimage an Exit Dashboard node? It is necessary to reimage a node in case of system drives are replaced in the chassis. It is also necessary when a node is inaccessible or in the event of a catastrophic failure. Downgrades are only possible via imaging. It can be beneficial for skipping multiple upgrade steps for new nodes. What are the prerequisites for the imaging process? CMC is accessible via SSHM web. Serial over LAN is enabled in the CIMC. Nexus dashboard image is downloadable from a local web server. This image download link is mapped as vMedia on the CIMC. Nexus dashboard management interface is connected. It is possible to reimage a server without the HTTP download link. This will be covered at the end of the video. It however takes multiple hours and is less reliable, therefore we recommend using the method described here first. To enable serial over LAN, SSH the CMC IP address and log in. Execute the command scope SOL followed by set enabled yes. And commit. The Nexus dashboard image can be downloaded from software.sysco.com. Click on Access Downloads under the Download and Upgrade. Search on Nexus dashboard. Select the appropriate version and click on the download icon next to the ISV image. Once the download is finished, place the image on local web server and make sure that the download link is working. SSH the CMC IP address and log in. Execute the command scope vmedia. Map the image download link to vdvd using the command map www space image space http colon slash slash the IP address slash path space the image name. Verify the map status with the show mappings command. If the map status is okay, connect to the serial line using the commands exit and connect host. Open the CMC web page and log in. Click on Launch KVM. Click on Power, followed by Reset System Warm Boot. Watch the boot process until you see this message and press F6. On the terminal window with the SSH session, wait for the boot device selection and select the Cisco CMC mapped VDVD. The setup will ask for the HTTP download link. Once it does, paste in the link. It will also require a temporary IP address for its management interface to download the ISO file from the web server. First, type in static for static IP address assignment. For SC node G2 server, type in EN01 for the interface name. For ND node L for servers, type in ENP1S0F0. This refers to the management interface. Type in the management IP and subnet, followed by the default gateway. The node will try to ping the web server and the image download will start. It may take up to 20 minutes for the installation process to complete. The node is powered off once the setup is completed. In case if there is no web server available where the image download can be hosted, the following procedure can be used. Open the CMC web page and log in. Click on Launch KVM. In the KVM window, click on Virtual Media and activate Virtual Devices. Click on Virtual Media again and click on Map CD slash DVD. Click on Browse and locate the Nexus dashboard image ISO file and select Open, followed by Map Drive. After this, the ISO is mounted as a virtual DVD drive to the server. Click on Power, followed by Reset System Warm Boot. 
Watch the boot process until you see this message and press F6. Wait for the boot device selection and select Cisco VKVM mapped VTVT. SSH to the CMC IP address and log in. Connect to the serial over LAN using the command connect host. Once the setup asks for the HTTP download link, type in skip. It may take multiple hours for the setup to complete. The node will be powered off after the reimaging. I hope this has been helpful to you. Thank you for watching.